Hello, everyone. Just uh, wanted to, to give you a little invitation, first of all, before I forget, because I might forget. But here at Cabri Chapel del Monte, we are inviting everybody to come out and join us for the celebration, right? This week is Passion Week. And I was reminded of something that was told to me by my father uh, about four years ago. As I was talking to my father, and my father is a Jewish man who grew up in a Jewish faith, but converted and accepted Yeshua, Jesus as his Mashiach, as his Savior. And I remember my father telling me one day, you know, son, I grew up in religion, but now I have a relationship with my Lord. And he came to that conclusion from reading the New Testament. And one of the things that stood out was John 12, 12, where it says, you know, the next day a great multitude had that had come to the feast when they had heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. And that stood out to my father because he still he was still waiting for the king, but he realized the king already came. And so he put all his faith on Jesus Christ. And today he, he loves the Lord with all of his heart. He shares that with everybody when he meets people. And so we're just wanting to share that with you. What Jesus has done in our lives, what Jesus means to us as our Savior, the one who died in our place, took upon himself our sin, right? But not only that, one of the greatest things is that as we read during Passion Week, the Lord was whipped, striped, beaten, slapped, but then eventually goes to the cross. And there he fulfills the prophecy of, of the dying Messiah, right? The, the one who would carry upon himself as we read in, in the book of Daniel in, in chapters 52 and, and 51, 52, and 53, as we read those prophetic words that come to mind, how he would carry upon himself our sin. But then Jesus speaks about it himself in that same chapter of John 12, when he said, Now my soul is troubled, but what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this purpose I came to this hour. Because Jesus knew that eventually he would go to the cross, die on, his, on a cross. Think about that for our sins in our place. And when my own father read these words, it, it touched his heart that he said he could no longer deny Yeshua, Jesus as the Messiah. And reading these words are what brought my father to salvation, to that relationship with Jesus. And that's our hope that if you have no relationship with Christ, that you take this week to come to that opportunity that is given to you, to come to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and to know and realize that it's already been paid for. As my daddy said, he's already punched his ticket to heaven because Jesus already bought that ticket to heaven for him. All he had to do was reach out and take it. So if you don't have a, a home church, come join us on Sunday. We're going to have a couple of services here at Cabo Chapo El Monte. But if you do have a home church or a church you've attended in the past and you've, you've just walked away and haven't been to services for a while, let that be the day you rededicate your walk to Christ. Rededicate your life to the Lord and begin to walk anew. Just begin to walk with your Savior. Begin to walk with your Redeemer, the one who loves you so much that he was willing to die on a cross and resurrect on the third day for you so that you, as my daddy said, would get your ticket punched and be ready for heaven. You'll know your destination. So we invite you to come out to join us at Calvary Chapel in El Monte. If you don't have a home church, but if you do, please, I beg of you, just go. Rejoice in the Lord this week. Let the, the joy of, of the cross 
fill your heart. Because what was meant as an instrument of torture became an instrument of salvation for billions of people around the world. So come to the cross of Christ. Come to the empty tomb. Come to the celebration of the empty tomb. Come and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Okay, so let's pray. Lord, I thank you again for all you've done for us. And I pray, Lord, that you just bless this week, Lord, and remind us of this week, Lord, every day that we meditate, Lord, on what every day of this week means as we draw closer to the day of our redemption, the day when your Son resurrected to give us eternal life. We love you, Father, and we pray for everybody, Lord, who doesn't have that relationship with you. May they give their lives to you this weekend. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name.